Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I'm going to show you how to put your field day site on the map. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So we're going to be using APRS objects to put your fill day site on the map. What we're going to do first though is we're going to jump over to APRS.fi, take a look at the maps, and kind of show you what objects look like in case you're unfamiliar with it. Then we'll get over to Exaster and show you how to add one of those objects of your very own to the map. Let me get off the screen so I can explain this a little bit better. Okay, so I've just opened up the website APRS.fi and I'm looking at a wide view of the area that I live in and right away you can see several objects. Uh, so anytime you see like a repeater which is right here on the map, that is an APRS object. If we click on that object, it will give us more details about that specific object. In this case, it's going to give you the repeater frequency and the tone, and it's also going to tell you about a WCARES net that happens every Monday evening at 7 p.m. So that's one example of an APRS object. Now, let's take a look at another one that I added this morning close by to me and it's just to mark an airfield. So this one doesn't have a lot of extra information with it, but it's an object that I placed just for the demonstration purposes in this video. Now, what else could we use APRS objects for? Well, they come in handy a lot of different times. Maybe you're working uh, in a disaster type situation. Uh, maybe you've had a hurricane pass through or a tornado and you want to mark shelters on the APRS map. That's very easy to do provided you've got uh, an APRS client software up and running. Today I'll be using Exaster uh, for the demo. When else might you use it? Well, besides marking shelters, you might want to mark uh, the emergency operations center during that disaster. Maybe you want to mark other assets during that disaster. But it doesn't have to be just disaster related. We can use it for other things. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to add a APRS object to the map to mark our fill day site that's going to be coming up here in just a few weeks. So let me change over to another tab. And I've got this tab zoomed in on the park that we're going to be using for fill day this year. And we're roughly going to be operating field day in this area here inside the park. So that's where we want to place our object. Now, let's go ahead and move over to the Raspberry Pi so I can show you how to place this object. Okay, so now we're on the Raspberry Pi and we're looking at the exact same map uh, of the park inside of Exaster. So if you remember, I told you we were going to be operating fill day roughly in this site here. So inside Exaster, and there is a way to do this inside of Yak as well. I'm not quite as familiar with Yak, uh, and hence I'm using Exaster for this demo. But I'm simply going to click right in the uh, area where we're going to operate fill day, and I'm going to come down to Object slash Item Create. And I'll go ahead and click on that, and it's going to pop up this dialog box. Now you'll notice since I clicked in the exact location that I wanted to place the object, it went ahead and loaded up the location, uh, latitude and longitude for me. So in the name, I'm going to say uh, field day site. And then in the comment, I want to give it a bit more information. So, or a place that people could go for a bit more information. So, in the comment, I'm going to put, for more info, visit dccarc.org. 
which is our club website. Now, the last thing we need to do is we need to select a symbol that's going to be displayed on the map. So right here under the station symbol, I'm going to click select, and then I'm going to go through here and pick out the symbol that I want to use. And it looks like the little house icon with the antenna should work perfect for this. Once I'm done with that, and I know that everything is uh, plugged in here correctly, we'll just go ahead and click Create New Object. And you give it just a second, and you'll see that that has been created on the map. Now, let's go ahead and jump back over to the APRS.FI website, and you can see that our object has been placed on the website. So if we click on that, you should see in the comment section right here, for more info, visit dccarc.org, which is exactly what I put in the comment field when I created the object. Now, once the object is done, let me get back over to the pie here. Once the object is done, if you uh, want to delete that object, maybe a shelter has closed or it's past fill day, you'll simply need to right-click on this object and then come down to Object slash Item Modify. We'll go ahead and click on that and it brings this up. And you would simply click either Modify the Object or Delete the Object. Now, I'm not going to do either in this case because I actually want to leave this on the map until after fill date. But once fill date is finished up, I will come back in and delete this object. So there you have it, guys. Now you know how to put your fill day site on the map. I hope this was helpful in explaining APRS objects to you and how you might want to use them in different situations. We'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.